So I wanted to show Radish's story from start to finish. Unfortunately, I don't have the capture of her quitting the Arts Academy, but basically you meet Radish. She's the, uh, what is she, a hamster maybe? She's the girl all the way on the right here who kind of has her, her arms crossed and looks a little angry at the world, because she kind of is. And uh, you meet her in your first Arts Academy class, actually standing outside with uh, your character's sister, Clementine. And you're going to have to come into this Arts Academy and paint 20 paintings all together in order to get the graduate trophy. Half of those paintings are going to be these reproductions of these masterpieces that are going to be put in the Elevensies Master Gallery. This is the first one here that you get to do. And the, the other half of the paintings you're going to be doing are, are basically based on themes draw something scary, draw something cute, things like that. And those are usually put around around the, uh, the world of Picnic. But Radish here, um, she's got a little chip on her shoulder and is kind of unhappy in the Arts Academy. After about four or five paintings that you do in the Arts Academy, she's going to get angry and she's going to storm out. And she's going to leave the Arts Academy for good. So, as I said, I don't, unfortunately, I don't have that captured here, but I do have the, uh, the first, the first master, uh, masterpiece painting reproduction, whatever it's called. Once you get far enough into the game and you can travel down to the bottom of Sips River, you can visit Radish in her house and talk to her and her mother and uh, you'll be able to to get a couple things done so here's Sips River you go under the bridge there's actually a uh, collectible under that bridge you go around the bend and one screen left of Gulp Swamp down here I think one or two more keep going <laughs> we're getting there all right here we go so this is Radish's house. You can see her standing on top there. This is, this is post game. This is after I finished the whole story. Uh, but I imagine probably once you get enough brush styles and can get through enough of the Arts Academy that she leaves and you can find her and have this conversation with her, you can find out what's really bothering her. So give her some en encouraging words and, you know, don't be a jerk. And then you'll help this side quest along. So Radish asks you to bring her portfolio to the Master Gallery in Elevensies. And if you do that for her, you will move the side quest along. And at the end of this side quest, you're going to get a code to a door that you will not be able to open otherwise. Of course, if you watch this video or if you watch the brush styles, uh, the style, stylist or pro style, style pro, <laughs> the stylist and pro and style pro trophy guide um you'll see the same code to that door i imagine you probably could just put the code in to the door and it'll open for you the first time but 
I, I did want to show this um, just just to get some closure on this part because this wasn't in my normal uh, story playthrough and I thought it was kind of an interesting little side quest and a little part of the story that kind of important to see. So we're going to Elevensies up here and we're going to talk to the, uh, the curator of the Master Gallery. But um, something that I did want to mention is uh, Radish's mother is named Beetroot. And uh, Beetroot is going to give us that door code. But she's also great to talk to if you want to find out how many outfits you still need to find in any certain area. And we'll talk about that in, in a few minutes and we'll take a look at it. But for now, let's watch this conversation play out. You can see some of my recreations of masterpieces here. Some of them I did very quickly just to get through. Some interesting themes that this game touches on in the art world and the process of creating things, being an artist, certain stresses and certain pitfalls that you can run into. So we've made the delivery and now we have something to give to Radish and it's not necessarily good news but there's some silver lining to it. We're going to stop in and talk to Beetroot here real quick. You're going to see how she can help you find clothing pieces. So she's not going to tell you where they are, but at least it helps you know if you're missing, if you're missing like one outfit and you're still looking to get that trophy, um, you know, she would be a good resource to talk to. So here we are in the luncheon cafe and we're going to kind of put a pin in the, uh, the radish story here. While this plays out, I did also want to mention, I don't believe that um, delivering the letter for Radish to the Master Gallery has anything to do with the Postal Service or such Great Heights trophies. Um, I don't know. I really don't think it it matters if you've done anything for Artichoke. If you've even walked into the post office, I believe you could probably still help Radish out without, I, I know I happen to be wearing the mailbag and, and all that stuff, but I don't think that makes any difference. You can pick one of uh, the three pieces here to take. So 
And because we've done that, we've been invited back to talk to Beetroot, and that's going to be our invitation to get that door code. And this is just kind of wrapping up our sister's involvement in uh, in the, the part that we didn't capture in the Arts Academy when Radish stormed out and said some, said some things to us and our sister came to our aid and stood up for us. Here we are back here and now we're going to finally get that code. So what Beetroot, what Beetroot doesn't know is this is in Tea Time Meadows. We'll head there in just a minute once we uh, finish talking to both mother and daughter here. And behind the the uh, the locked gate, I guess you could say, is uh, one of the. 25 brush styles that you'll need for stylist and uh, style pro. It's also possibly the last cell of the map that you'll need to open up in order to get the cartographer trophy. And so we're going to head there and we're going to switch over to um, this is the transit bench and Brecky, obviously. And it's just two screens over and one screen up. And then we're gonna switch over to the uh, capture I got on the Elgato where you're gonna see me get the cartographer trophy. <laughs> 